Hey guys, it's Samantha Studebaker Carl here coming at you from beautiful Southwest Georgia and in this video I'm going to show you how to resize an image to be larger. So how to make an image larger. Um, I just had a question from somebody on my YouTube channel. I thought I would just pop a quick video and pop a quick video, listen to me. Uh, I just do a quick video and show you how to do this and of course it's all going to depend per uh, on which photo editing software that you have um, but I have a couple of different ones that I use. One is called Paint and I think most people have Paint on their computer so it's, I'm just going to start with that one and, um, and then I'll show you how to use another one. Um, but we're just going to do this one to begin with. So the, here's a bit. Here is a image in my image file that is only 379 by 445. And that's the size of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on that. I'm going to open it with Paint, which is your built-in image editing tool that uh, most Microsoft computers have. Let's see here. Let me just move this. So let's just say I want to make this, say, 500 wide instead of 379 wide. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this little image or this little tool icon right here that says resize and then you have a choice you can increase the size by percentage or you can increase the size by pixels and you have this um, little checkbox here that says maintain aspect ratio so if you just wanted to change it to let's say we want to make it 500 wide and we want it to remain in the exact same proportions that it is right now I would click on pixels I would change this to 500 and as you can see, it automatically changed the vertical size as well because I left this checkbox that says maintain aspect ratio. Now, if I wanted to instead make this image a square image, I could do that by unchecking this and just changing it to 500. Oops, not 5,000, but 500. And then I'm just going to click OK. And as you can see, it just changed the size. So now it's 500 by 500. And if I don't like the way that looks, of course, I can hit, you know, the redo button. And I can resize it again. This time I can um, leave the maintain aspect ratio. I can go pixels, 500, click OK. And then, of course, it changes it. Now, one thing to realize that when you resize an image, and you change how big it is compared to what it was, uh, whether you go bigger or smaller, it's going to distort it slightly. It's not going to look exactly the same. So, um, you know, unfortunately, you can't keep that crisp image if you resize it to a completely different size. But you can still do it to the point where it looks, you know, as good as you want it to, to look. Or, well, maybe not as good as, but you can still keep it looking pretty decent. You just have to play around with it and see which one you want to do. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. Now one thing you want to make sure and do when you go to save this image you don't want to just click the save button because that will save the exact file that you already had to the new size. You want to save this as a new image that way you keep your original image and I just usually do a JPEG. It's completely up to you though which one you want to do. I would just keep the name and then I would just put the size in here in the file name. So now instead of it being the 379 size, now it's 500. And I'm just using an X, I-587. And click Save. And now I have two images that are exactly the same except for that they are different sizes. So that's how you increase the size of an image. Now let me just show you real quick. I have one other program that I use. So I'm just going to close that one. We are going to open that same image. Where did it go? I just had it on here. Let's see how big this one is. Maybe we can just nope that one's right. Oh, here it's right. It's right there. Okay, so I right click it, I'll open it with my other program is paint.net. And uh, by the way, you cannot go to paint.net. 
but you can do a search for paint.net because <laughs> actually going to the website paint.net will not take you to the place that you want to go so you'll just want to do a search for video editing software paint.net I have no idea why they call it that but um, with this one it's slightly different you want to go to the image menu and then click on the resize and then it works basically the same way the only difference is is that you have a little bit more um, editing options available to you and um, but again you know maintain aspect ratio if you want it to you know stay the same proportions and then just change your pixels to whatever you want that to be you know you can change it to a thousand wide if you want to and then click OK. It'll change it and now it's much bigger, right? And um, so that's it. That's how you make an image bigger. Hopefully this was helpful to you and I will go ahead and find the link to download paint.net if you want to have that program. It has a whole lot of other uh, editing options in there that are available to you other than just resizing and it's a little bit more advanced than using just your paint program on your computer so with that guys if you want to make sure and get more um, tutorials from me then subscribe to my channel like this video if this was helpful to you and of course share it leave me a comment tell me what you think or ask me any questions if you want me to teach you something different so with that have a great day bye for now